What is going on, Bronze Back Slaying homies? My name is Tyler, and we are back on another episode. We are back on the ice today. I got some exciting news. Me and my buddy Aaron out on Green Bay. We're doing some ice camping tonight. I'm super amped. We're staying for the night and into the morning, so hopefully. We're gonna be getting on some big old walleyes and potentially even some big pike. Right now the plan is we've kind of got our tip-ups set up. Oftentimes these fish will roam the mud flats during the day and then at night they'll come up the shelf of the break up into shallower water. So we'll see how things go. We're getting set up kind of in the morning here. We want to make sure that we had ample time to get out to the spot that we wanted to fish and get all set up. As you can see we have way too much stuff here. <laughs> we got the old 20 gallon propane and we got some mats, we got the shack, a big bin of just all sorts of junk, and then Aaron's got his sled right here. If you guys have not, please go down below and check out me on other socials. I got my Instagram link, got all sorts of channels linked on there. Super amped for tonight. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Hopefully we can tassel with a big old 30 inch Green Bay Giant tonight. It's Saturday, February 18th. We've gotten a lot of warm weather in the last week and a half or so. Things have really changed and we're getting closer and closer to the walleye run. What are your thoughts? Oh, we're gonna smack them. <laughs> we're, we're up and ready to go. Gotta get the shack set up still. Still got a little bit of work ahead of us. Four tip ups out so far and we're gonna catch a big one today or tonight. Good to me. Yeah. So we got a flag out here. We got some flags over here. We got the shack right here all set up. I think we're gonna have a hell of a night. I mean, we got a cooler with a bunch of food in it. I think we're gonna have some fun here. Little look at the inside right now. Got the absolute overload of a heater right here. Threw some mats down. I've never thrown mats down before, but trying that out, I think it's gonna at least insulate some of the ice below us. It's kind of haphazard, but just to put some stuff on and both got the same cot we got the live scope set up in the far corner and then three holes we'll probably be setting up the rattle reel on the ceiling right here when it gets late and we actually decide to go to bed we set up our tip-ups probably moving some of them from the deep water that we have them out right now um, the reason we got them in deep water is because a lot of those fish are roaming the deep mud flats right now once we hit about probably 4 30 oh we got a fish on <laughs> Once we hit about 4.30, I think we're probably going to move some of these deeper tip-ups that are in like 35 feet of water, and we're going to move them further in. We got one and eight near kind of a weed edge over here, which looks really good, and then we're going to have a couple in that like 15 foot range, and then maybe one that's more like 25. Well, it's about time. I think Aaron and I are going to get horizontal here this afternoon before, uh, before the evening bite rolls around. Just tested out the heater, make sure she's working. This thing is, this thing is insane. We got the carbon monoxide detector just in case because I mean if you're running propane and you're sleeping overnight definitely good to have that but uh, with this thing definitely want that yeah look, look at this guy over here oh yeah we're getting He's living the life this absolutely is, living the life this is luxury right here. <laughs> so we'll catch back after we kick back for a bit I think I'm gonna eat a good old sandwich too enjoy a little food we're playing the waiting game now All right, first flag of the day. We've seen like three fish on live scope so far and we're going to mess around with tip ups and this one went up. Saw it spinning, um, haven't seen it since. So hopefully we got a, got a walleye on there. All right, I'm gonna just pull her out and see. See the bobber or is it gone? It's gone. Cool. Oh, she took it. A little bit of line. Yeah? No. No? No. Still a minnow on there? Did you get ka at all? Oh, he's, he's good on there. Let's see. Oh, oh, he doesn't look I don't know if he actually popped or not. Second flag of the night. This one is about probably 10 minutes after the one that Aaron just had. She was slow rolling just before here. Feels there. small, but oh my goodness, feels really small, but it's running right at me. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I would call that a little bit tiny. <laughs> Green Bay gold right there, baby. Look at that guy. It's not what I was expecting. <laughs> That's probably what hit your tip up over yeah. there. Alright. There he is. Gonna send him back. Hey, a fish is a fish. So we're seeing a bunch of tiny little walleyes and a live scope, along with that one we just caught. But this this flag went up again, same hole. I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's a little guy, but could be wrong. That's a little bit bigger. Not a lot. Not by much. <laughs> well, we are just on them tonight. Absolutely dialed out here. Absolutely dialed. That's what I call a magnum. Well, I hope we're not sitting on a spot like this all night. Oh, she's blinking. She is blinking. That thing blinks like crazy. Yeah, she does. My goodness. All right, I'm just hoping it's not a 15 incher here. She ain't moving. Bobber's gone. All right. There's no middle on here. Really? Swiped ya? Dang. Big old swing and a miss for the man, 0-2, oh and, and I'm 2-2 two two on little doinkers, so. Minnow's gone. That almost makes me think it's a bigger fish. The minnow's gone, hard to say. We're really hoping that hog rolls through tonight. We haven't seen a whole lot of good fish on the live scope, except for there was one that was definitely sizable that came through, so. We're, we're gonna go show you the shack now. We're pretty much all set up and uh, feeling real good in the shack, so. Got the heater on now, got the lights on. So my dad got these lights. Um, from his work at some point and they're pretty sweet. They're just like three bulb LEDs there and They're really bright and you got a bunch of them and I don't even have them stuck up here I just kind of wired them throughout so far so good on it And I just got it run into a 12 volt battery right here. Those wires just connect right in Please God. Not, It wasn't moving. I'm gonna give it a second. I think it's hard to tell whether it's taking line or not. I'm gonna go Yeah, there's a run there. It's not big Didn't take much. It looks better. Ooh, it's based, a little bit better. Based, it looks more sturdy than the yeah. other fish. A little better. A little better. Oh, that's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Careful. Let him, yeah. let him go. Yeah. I'm like, come on. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that growth on his nose. Oh. <laughs> Look, at, Look that. at all those growths. Holy cow. Wow. Oh, a little bit better. Not great, yeah. but we're getting That's there. What you call green yeah. bay gold? Look at that gnarly. Jesus Christ. Super gnarly. All right. Oh, it's really In the good old release. Yeah. Oh. There we go. A little better. Got done. A little better. We got Get her done. There. Fire me oh, up. We got the dogs bit. on the grill. Let's go. Well, 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 it's been a while since you guys have seen us. Uh, Aaron caught the last fish on that tip up. That is the last tip up we've had in, I don't know, probably pushing two hours now. It's now 10 o'clock. We've only seen a few fish here and there, very sparse. We moved one of the tip ups in shallower and I did see a fish when I was scanning around on that ledge. So at this point, we're just sit and wait and see what happens. It may be uh, wait till tomorrow morning at first light. I'm guessing the next hour and a half or so, we'll probably get our night line set probably pull a couple of the tip ups outside if not all of them and then just have a rattle reel in here and maybe a jaw jacker or something so morale isn't real high right now but we're having a good time you can't complain when you're hanging out on the ice like this ladies and gentlemen good morning it is 7 in the morning this morning sunrise is at about 7 30 ish or so we had an interesting night last night we went to bed around 12 saw a few more fish before we went to bed and just nothing happened tip-ups didn't go fish seemed finicky we actually had the rattle reel down and the jaw jacker down after we took down the rest of our tip-ups outside we had a fish go nose up right to the sucker on the rattle reel and nothing happened we couldn't believe he didn't eat it we were watching it in the live scope Dude, he's seriously just nose up. Oh. <laughs> he didn't want it. 
Went to bed around 12, and in the middle of the night we woke up, or I woke up, to the jaw jacker going fling, and I had a little bell on it. And, well, it was a big old swing and a miss. I'm guessing that the fish just had the minnow parsley in his mouth, but the hook was on the outside of his mouth, and just thing fired and didn't get him. That was our night, and now we're back up. We got the tip up set up. We're gonna do some more jigging before it gets gets later out this morning and lighter. What a beautiful morning. You can't beat it when you're camping on the ice and you get to see the sunset and you get to see the sunrise. I think that's one of the coolest things about ice camping. And then set up on those bite windows because that's when you're gonna whale on the fish. The fish were seeming pretty finicky yesterday. I mean, it was pretty crazy. We had more fish move through here than I thought we were going to. I really didn't expect to see as many fish as we did. It was pretty like spread out action of like a fish here and there. We had a number of fish come nose up to the baits and we just couldn't get them to eat. So I'm hoping that the negativity is a little bit, a little bit less today. I think we can maybe get these fish fired up. Well, look at this. I got Chef cooking me breakfast here. We got some eggs with some cheese curds mixed in. Pretty fired up about this. Now this is what I call gourmet right there. Absolutely dialed on the ice. <laughs> oh, we're boss. <laughs> That is gonna have to do it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Go check me out down below on my socials, on my Instagram and Facebook. Would really appreciate it. This may be kind of one of the last ice videos of the season. I'm hoping to do, I'm hoping to have a couple more outings for walleyes with the warm weather and the ice on the bay right now. Very hard to say what that's gonna look like. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys on the next episode of DC Bronzies. Peace.